And it's reverse to radial out. And I want to get as close to the mud as possible. Now, I don't know how close we're going to get, but I can guesstimate. And we're going to burn ourselves Ooh, right there. And we're going to get science in space close to the moon. EVA report possible? No. Free return? We're going to have to burn a little bit because I just made an adjustment. Just litho break around the moon? Okay. we Will do. All right. So now we're going to get super close to the moon. You ready? Close your eyes. We're going to go to sleep again. Honk shoo, honk shoo, honk shoo. And here comes the moon. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the KSP Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no Kerbal has gone before. Dum, bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm sorry. Observe mystery goo. Near the mun. Ding. Log pressure near the mun. Log temperature near the mun. All right. And I want to also erase the current crew report that we have because this is going to be worth more science. All right. Now we come home. So now we're going to leave the mun by going this way. This is going to put us back in orbit of Kerbin, which we'll find out what kind of orbit we're in as soon as we leave because we don't have patch conics. Oh, boy. That's not a good orbit to be in. So it's going to take us a while to get out here. We're going to be out here for a while, guys. Uh, sit back. Go to sleep again. Ready? Close your eyes. Hunk shoe, hunk shoe, hunk shoe. Okay. We're going to go all the way around. And we are going to burn ourselves home. Seven million periapsis. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 300,000, 200,000, and 55,000, 58,000. All right, so now we're coming home. Go to sleep again, guys. We're going to take another nap. Ready? <laughs> 22, 23. We got signal again. We can communicate with Kerbin. Now, now they know that we're alive because we had no communication before. <laughs> Houston, this is Tiger Fang Kerbal. We have made it back. Yay! Everybody's happy! Woo! Okay. Turn ourselves retrograde. Get ready to slow ourselves down. So at the moment, we're running. Okay? But we're running on a plate that's spinning. On that spinning plate, we're running around. We're trying to run around another thing that's on the plate. So what we have to do is we have to catch that thing. So we have to turn around and slow ourselves down in order to catch this other thing on the spinning plate. That's how I describe what we're currently doing. So we're running, they're running, but we have to, we have to turn around and run slower. We never stop moving. We're always running. So we have to turn and run slower. That way we catch up to the person who's running slower than we are. And that's how we get home. Look, it's the money again, guys. Let's go to the mun. I'm kidding. We're not going to the mun. We've already been there. All right, let's go. Running on ice? No, because ice you don't have any control on. At least in space, you've got some control as long as you've got fuel in a rocket. So running on ice is, is not something you want to... <laughs> that's, not, that's not describing anything. This is going to slow us down. That way we don't enter as fast. Right now we're going 2,500. Uh, this is 5,000 miles an hour for people who need freedom units. Just take that number and double it, and that's your miles per hour, roughly. It's a little more, but it, it gives you a rough number. All right, we're going to yeet this stage off right there. Get it away from us. That way it falls somewhere else and doesn't affect us. And then we spin to win. We're coming in. This is our ablator. 
So as this heats up, ablative material comes off of this. I don't think it's 1.3. I think it's like 2.2 on your card. I think 1.3 is a little too much. I think it's closer to 2 than it is 3. I think you're converting to like KPH or something. To miles per hour, it's only it's 2. Okay, but this isn't KMH. This is meters a second. It's a lot faster than the Yugo can go. Yeah. You know they made a, a, a station wagon version of that car, right? Hellhound? They called it the Wego. Yeah, 2.2. Yeah. That's why I say 2x, ST. Yeah, Alucard. Yeah. I know. I, I've done... I've, I, we've already... I've had this discussion with people in the past. We've Googled it before. As long as we're all on the same page here. All right. We only used, like, 20 a blader. So we'll use that information for next time. That's... A data that we need uh, we're gonna make some money from this once we land and recover because we haven't actually returned yet we're probably gonna upgrade our tracking station that way we have patch conics I think we need to upgrade the tracking station and is it mission control or is it the astronaut complex either way we're gonna we're gonna upgrade all the buildings by one except for R&D shoots All right, we're coming down nice and soft into the water. Welcome home, Tiger Fang. Now let's get that juicy, juicy science off of you. Because that's what we need is that juicy, juicy science. Give me! And we're gonna get we're gonna get struts. Oh, 232 science. All right, we're gonna get struts. We're gonna get uh, what is it? The fuel. Uh, we got better rockets that we don't need right now just yet. What do I want to see in KSP two? Uh, a beta. We got docking ports, solar power. Let's get solar power. All right, we're going the right way. Let's go. Hi, Deathy Poo. Welcome in, buddy. Happy Sunday. Deathy Poo, right now, in my eyes, KSP2 is vaporware. Show me a beta. Exclamation point KSP, sniper. We'll give you all the information that you need. What's up, nipple tester? Welcome in. How are you? Nipple, have fun, dude. Just coast it down. Easy peasy. Well, you better pause the game and look up on Google. <laughs> no one's going to tell you while you're flying. All right, we're going to upgrade tracking station. Upgrade astronaut complex. Upgrade mission control. All right, we should have patch conics now. Um, astronaut complex. We can add more Kerbals. Let's go. So, we are creating Kerbals. Oh, my am. Female scientist. It says roster is full. Okay, hold on. It shouldn't be. We should have max 12. Yeah, we should be able to do 12. Hello, game. Available 5. Max 12. 
game. There we go. Create Kerbal. All right, Oh My Am is in. Oh My Am, welcome. Uh, Ciaria. They are male engineer, level zero, maximum courage and stupidity, and a badass. Create. Now we've got Cybrick. Cybrick. You are a female pilot, level zero, maximum courage and stupidity, and you're a badass. Cybrick is made. Flavids. Flavids is a male scientist, level zero, maximum courage and stupidity, and a badass. Done. Then we've got Punisher. Punisher, female engineer, maximum courage and stupidity, and a badass. Done. What's badass do? I don't know. But people in my chat are badasses, so I'm doing it. Giving you a capital M. All right, misery's in. How about element? I don't know if I can add any more, but we'll find out here in just a second. Female pilot, courage, stupidity, badass, create, purple created. All right, elements in. We've got a Puerto Rico. Oh, roster full. Okay, roster's full now. All right, let's go check out the admin complex. We got them all in. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe it gives them better, like, G-forces or something. I don't know. I don't care. But they're all in here now. Uh, you're all going to wear the sweet orange uniforms that I have laid out for you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Neat. 12 active Kerbals. 12 maximum Kerbals. Mission Control, explore Kerbin. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. Okay, we can do that. Uh, science data from the surface of the Mun. There we go. There we go. Conduct temperature surveys. I will never do those. I hate those. Test stack separator at launch site. Yes, please. Um... Science data from the surface of the mun. Yeah? There, There is no intelligence, Alucard. So I don't know where you're getting that, that stat from. It doesn't exist. There's no intelligence. All right, we need, you meant courage, okay. To test something, what are we testing? TSO6 stack separator. All right, let's drop all of this. Let's get a little stack separator up here. We're gonna launch. You don't often look at these stats. I don't care about them. The rate of the rate of failure is not something I'm worried about. John, we, we exactly what the wording says. Exactly what the wording says. Activate it through the staging sequence. All right, done. We tested it. It blew up. <clears throat> it was horrible. Pieces everywhere. Yeah, so like for missions where we have to launch a satellite, it has to be manned, and then we're going to drop off the satellite. We bring the Kerbal home afterwards. I don't want a Kerbal sitting on a satellite out in the middle of Eve, you know? 
So yeah, I worded it like that on purpose. Purposeful wording. All right, let's go get science. Uh, we don't have rover wheels yet. We get those next. 45 science. So I think we just, I'm going to wait on the wheels to do the science around there. I think we just go back up and around and get some more science and come back. Let's just do a science mission. Because right now we have surface of the mun. I don't think I'm ready to go to the surface of the mun. We can rendezvous to... Uh, things in orbit. That'll work. Minmus flyby? I'm not going to do it until they give me a mission for it, John. That way I get more money and more science from it. I'm not going to do it all willy-dilly unless they pay me for it. Uh, let's see. Science. Grab. Uh, science. Uh, recon. Let's do that. It's called a science recon. Uh, number one of rendezvous. I want to rendezvous with you. I want to rendezvous with you. How can I close that? Close. Okay. Go away. Uh, first ship. It's going to have... Parachutes. And we can strut now, right? Oh, now we can strut. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Oh my god. I love it. We're going to put... Um, I want to put a Science Junior on this. Oh my god. <clears throat> Science Junior. Maybe I should make this a scientist pod? Let me think here for a minute. I don't think I can reset anything until I actually have a scientist and a pilot in the same ship. So I can't really worry about that just yet. I think just having a science junior is good enough for now. We're going to put a control wheel in here. Hi, Raris. Welcome back. How are you, buddy? How are things? Hello. Is it me you're looking for? You're tired? I'm sorry, dude. What can I do to wake you up? Before you go-go. Wake me up before you go-go. Massage your shoulders and your back. Is this a is this a mutual thing? Do you do it back after I do yours? Or is this one-sided? Why not? I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> All right, so if it's mutual, then okay, I can, I can, I can swing that. Sweet. There's no such thing as an oiled fan. I've never heard of such thing before. Where did you hear about that at? An oiled fan? You had one in your bedroom. I don't. What it? What? But then you didn't have one in your bedroom because there's no such thing as one. You're making me all sorts of confused right now. Battery? We'll get there, massive one. Required regular oil. Oh, you, okay, you got something ancient then is what you're talking about. Oh, I thought you meant there's no such thing. I mean, that makes sense that it would have to be oiled. It's weird that it would... I don't know, it just seems weird, I guess. The bearings are sealed, yeah. I think I need a better shoot. 
Uh, I put this science goo on here. We don't need all the science goo. All we need is the science junior. I'm taking it just in case, though. I'm arguing with myself. It was made with cast iron. No wonder it was so dang quiet. The new fan is humming and is driving you nuts. <laughs> You'll get over it, Raris. It's easy to forget. Just don't think about it, forehead. <clears throat> Right, Tiger? <laughs> My new fan hums. I don't like it. Get him, Tiger fan. Get him. Oh, hey, Jaff. How about this? Your tongue is resting at the roof of your mouth, and you're now manually breathing. How about that? Is that any better? Do you hate me yet? That one doesn't get you? Oh, okay. It got somebody, though. Someone will curse me in chat here soon. Curse you! Fain dangled magic man! Your treachery will not be forgotten! That's not what I wanted to have happen. Boop. Is that better? Nope. Boop. Sure. That's but fine. I need a rocket engine. We're gonna be at thirty thousand. Where your eyes rest when they're closed, and I close my eyes, and I don't know where to keep them. <laughs> I never heard that one before. But that one, n none of those affect me. They used to affect me a long time ago, and now they don't, they don't do shit to me anymore. I don't care. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Blow it out your hole. But they're fun to think about. They're definitely fun for that. All right, now, that second stage. Blow it out. That's how you breathe, Rarest, while you're manually doing it. <laughs> See, I told you someone was going to curse me, uh, Jeff. It's only a matter of time. Harumph. <laughs> Love you, Rarest. Mean it. <laughs> Rarest, what are your plans for today? Oh, is this 1-8? Oh, the 1-8 tanks. The 1-8 tanks. Coming in clutch. Blow it out your hole, Taraja 2021. Quote me on it. Make a bumper sticker out of it. Let's go. I think I want thuds. Twelve eighty four at one point seven one. I don't think that's enough. I think we need more. Sixteen seventy three at one point four. You said A one, right? What about A one? Four K. Looks like a winner. Saucy tanks. Did I say saucy? <laughs> so
So I don't remember. I don't remember saying that. Um. Hashtag streamer memory. Let's take Cybrick up. Cybrick, you're going up, my friend. You said A1 tank. Did I? I thought I said I, I thought I said 1.8. Man, I don't know now, Jeff. I'm confused. Alakazam! 19 months. What's up, dude? Welcome. That is an amount. Happy Sunday. How are things over in Denmark today? Need new ears? <laughs> You're gonna have me questioning what I'm saying. Uh-oh. 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 Don't fall. Okay. Things are good, awesome. Uh, I don't have an antenna. We don't need an antenna, but it'd be good to have one, but we're fine. Five, four, three, two, one. No launch clams? I don't think we have them unlocked yet, Sleepy. Hi, Sleepy, welcome in. I don't use launch clams anyways. Who needs them? We launch straight up off the pad like this. YOLO Swaggins. Dun, 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 dun. What's the challenge? Exclamation point KSP, Alakazim. We'll give you everything that you need to know. That's every tang and every tang. It's not too terribly difficult, but it's also difficult at the same time. We can't we can't mobile process uh, science, so we're gonna have to biome hop and. Uh, Min max like all of our science gains. It's probably gonna take us a long time to get up. Is there a co-op? No, there there is a multiplayer version mod, but it doesn't work very well, Jeff. It's hard to do multiplayer in this game. Let let's say you're burning to let's say you're burning to like the Pluto equivalent, Elu. It takes three years in game. Now let's say you're in orbit of Kerbin, you've made the burn, you have to wait three years, but I'm building a rocket over in the other place. You can't warp three years in time because I'm still playing. Do you see where the issue is with that is? I don't, I don't know your question, John. So now you have to wait on me until I agree to mutually warp to that point, that way you can continue your gameplay. Otherwise, you're just stuck. So it makes a game like that hard to be multiplayer. Mr. Energy, what's up, dude? That's a name I haven't seen in a dog's age. Happy Sunday, how are you? John, what are you, what are you asking me, bud? The challenge seems interesting. It definitely is. All must sleep for the next day to come. Yep. Getting science from the pad, runway, crawler, way, etc., etc. Oh, yeah, no, we, we can do that. I'm waiting until I unlock wheels. We we did a little bit early. I built a little dual pond thing, but I want to wait till we get wheels. That way we can drive around. 